back to 40 Plus Life or welcome if you are new. I'm Veronica and today I'm gonna be doing one of those rare videos that I do, which is my budget for February. Yeah, I don't do these very often, but I thought, you know, let's see. Let's try it again. We'll see what happens. But I'm doing a very, not dumbed down, but <laughs> what's the word? Watered down version of it. So I'm not doing my calendar view and all that stuff like I used to do. But first, let's do the Japanese word of the day. So happy February. In January, we did the theme for colors. And now for February, this theme is going to be different phrases on how to say hello. And yeah, I think there's enough for all the videos that I do. <laughs> all right, so your very first phrase on how to say hello is gonna be for good morning. And that is, ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Now, if you're just close with, you know, talking to your close friend or whatever, you can just say, ohayou. And it's not spelled like the state. <laughs> But it's similar in how you say it, Ohio. But instead you say, Ohio. Ohio. But it's Ohio when you put it all together. So, Ohio gozaimasu. Good morning. All right. So, let's get into this. So, I have my little A5 set up, but I'm very lazy with certain things. So, I was just like, forget it. I'm not doing as much as I used to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and print it. So this is to start off every month, I do my monthly goals. So these are my, I call them monthly mini goals. So this is it for February. So first one is, ta-da, no buy on Etsy, month number two. I did great in January, I didn't buy anything. I barely went on there, so I need to continue that. I actually don't even wanna buy anything until at least till I move back to California. So I'm gonna hope for three months worth of not doing it. Actually, I didn't have like an urge or anything, so I feel really good about it. I do have plenty, plenty of savings challenges to probably last me a couple years. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably a good thing. So that's where I'm at now. Oh no, you know what? I'm so dumb. Hold that thought, rewind. <laughs> Before we go over anything for February, I'm going to go over my January mini goals because I actually did that. I didn't do a budget or anything, but I did have my mini goals. So let's do that really quick. All right. So as you can see, I crossed things off because I was really excited. Pay off my PayPal credit card. I certainly did. I did show a screenshot on one of my videos, I think it was the sinking funds check-in, and that was really exciting. It's now at a balance of zero, and I'm really happy that that's done. No Etsy purchases, so that is legit. Ta-da, so number one is, month number one is done. Read one book, I actually did read a book. I can't remember the name of it right now, and it was okay, but I'm happy that I was able to sit back, relax, and just enjoy a nice book. Tell boss I'm moving. Well, I did that way in the beginning of the month. So yeah, work out three times a week. Yes, I've been on a roll with that. So I'm really happy. I'm actually, for February, we're gonna go even further with this. So we'll see how that goes. So that is the overview of my January goals. I did them all, yay! Okay, so now we can get back to the February mini goals. We already went over, no buy on Etsy, month number two. So that's the first goal. Second goal is complete two challenges. So I really wanna focus more on doing savings challenges to complete them because then I like to stuff my savings challenges into my different sinking funds. So unless I have something major or whatever that I'm working on, I don't have my challenges, they don't have a purpose. So I, the purpose for me to complete them is to stuff them in all my different envelopes. So I would like to complete two of them I'm fairly confident. We'll see one of them I know for sure. The other one, I don't know yet. Read one book. So yes, I'm like gonna try and read another book. We'll see how that goes. Because as it gets closer to my move, it might get harder, but we'll see. Because I started packing so early, I think I might be okay. Focus on my house binder. So my house binder is for, because I am moving back to California, I already have a home out there. And this binder is for me to focus on everything for my house. And 
So that's why I want to focus on that because I'll be moving back and there's going to be a ton of things I got to work on and new things I got to get set up. So that's a focus. And then the last one is add 100 to my savings. So because I no longer have a car payment, I'm trying to take some of the money from, you know, from that and put that into my savings and see how I can do because of my rent increasing so, so much for these three months. You know, I want to see how I can do. So, so far for the for January, I did already move 100 to savings. So I want to see if I can do that again in February. Yeah, we'll see. And then the last bit here is under my notes, I just put health and wellness because that's still important to me. So continue to work out three times per week, minimum of 45 minutes. So today I did a great workout and I did a 20 minute walk and this is gonna include my walk as well. I did a 20 minute walk and then I did a 55 minute workout. So no, it's not gonna include my walk. My walk has to be separate. But if it happens that I only do a 30 minute workout, I'll still be over the 45 minutes, but I'm trying to do my main workout to be at least 45 minutes because I do, for every workout, I do strength training. So I also wanna incorporate the cardio as well and not just focus on just the strength training. And then drink water for sure. I definitely need to do that and work on eating foods with less sodium. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Basically, I'm not adding additional sodium, but I've been kind of keeping track recently see how much sodium I've been intaking. And when it's cold like this, I like to have soup. And I realize one can of the soup that I always eat has more than half of my daily dosage, <laughs> dosage of sodium. And I'm like, uh, but I'm gonna work on it, we'll see. Hopefully with drinking more water, that'll kind of balance it. Yeah. All right, next up, no, I don't need this anymore. Next up is gonna be, not that page, this page. So like I said, it's very watered down. I lumped everything together. So this is just a budget, okay? And I'll move in closer because I know you won't be able to see because I do have this printed as an A5 size. So first I'm budgeting my total net income of 7,000. Now I know that seems like a lot for one person. Now remember, I do have a home in California and I am currently renting it out. So a large part of my income comes from that rental income. Ooh, that's gonna be a big blow <laughs> when that's gone, but we'll see how it all works out because I'll also not have this $1,800 a month rent either. I'll just have my, my, board, my mortgage, my mortgage. So yeah, okay, and then I'm budgeting. I'm just gonna budget 100 for Etsy each month if I, I either will get it or, I'll, or I won't. So I don't have, what I like about Etsy right now, because I'm not focusing on it, it's just all, I, all I'm selling right now is digital products. So it's kind of like a set it and forget it thing. And I do love that. So any income I get from that, from not doing anything anymore, because I've already done it all, is a bonus. And then YouTube, I do record my videos early. So as of the recording of this video, I am at about $300, which is amazing. So yeah, so this month will be my second highest that I've ever gotten because the previous month I got four, almost 450. But that's because of the whole going into the holidays, the ads increase in price and amount or whatever it is. So that's why you get more. So I think December going into January, the momentum is kind of still there. So I'm very thankful to be getting that much money. And then other side hustles I don't budget for because it's just random. Okay, now moving on to my monthly exp Oh, I should probably add that up. Well, I can see it right here. I don't need to add it up. That's 7,400. Okay, cross your fingers. <laughs> and all my monthly bills is combined here. That includes my mortgage. That includes my rent. That includes my cell phone, all my monthly bills and stuff is included here, okay? And then in addition, I budget 300 for groceries, 80 for gas, pets 200, and any miscellaneous spending I do just in case, like if I purchase on Amazon or something, is 200. So 
So adding all that up. And as of right now, I am not counting my mortgage in my debt column. I'm just counting it as part of my regular expenses. Once all my regular debt, credit card debt is paid off, I'll move my mortgage over because then that would be my last one. And yeah. So 4,180 minus 7,400 leaves me with 3,220. Okay, there we go, next page. All right, so debt. So debt has gone down from the past two years, which I'm so thankful for. My car is no longer here, yay. PayPal credit is no longer here. The other credit cards that I paid throughout the year and the year before are obviously not here anymore. So this is what I have now. There is one additional credit card though, which is my credit one. And that's because I did want to purchase some veneers for my older daughter for her teeth. So I was just like, that was part of her Christmas present. So I'm like, that's what you're, that's what I'm doing for you. And I'm just going to pay it over time and hopefully I'll get that one paid off first. So that's what I'm planning. So that is more than the minimum payment. Okay. So, so I did have a, mo a major focus this year to work on my debt and get a lot of this taken off, but I'm not gonna focus on anything else now that a PayPal card's paid off, my car's paid off, until after I move back because my main focus right now is my move. So I'm just gonna be doing the minimums for right now, except for that credit one. Okay, so let me add this up. And that is, wow, this used to be over a thousand. Oh my gosh, you don't know how happy that makes me to see that. Ah, <laughs> I can't believe that. Because I haven't done an actual budget <laughs> in a while. I mean, I keep track of all my stuff on a spreadsheet, but to write it down like this and to see it like this, that part right there, oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, so 3220 minus 866 is... Leaves me with 2,354, which is more than I've ever had left over. So let's hope that this actually is accurate. <laughs> okay, and then for my savings category, emergency fund, $50 comes out of my paycheck each time. So that's for a total of 100, because I get paid bi-weekly. Sinking funds, I'm hoping to put in 600. And then savings challenges, I'll, like I said, I wanna add more to savings challenges than the sinking funds, because then when I complete a challenge, it'll go to the sinking funds. So that is 1,500 and then minus the 2,354 leaves me with 854, which I hope so. Now, usually if I still have my car payment, that's 350 that would be coming out, the other credit cards and so on. So this is awesome. I don't do a zero-based budget. I like to always have a buffer because you just never know. And this way, in case I get less than what I expect on my budget here, then at least, you know, this kind of works, this will work out because, you know, maybe I, I'll get like 500 left. Then I'll ha at least have $300 in my buffer. So, oh, oh, I'm so happy. When in the past, when I used to do my budget, it would always be negative, but it would always work out because I just, it just always worked out. I always did less for my budget, I think. And it always worked out and this just makes me so happy. So getting that car paid off uh, was a huge, huge, huge deal for me. I'm super, super excited. So, ah, all right guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed me finally doing a budget with me again, cause it's been a while. So if you have any questions at all, please do post below. Otherwise, you all have a wonderful day. Remember to stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Gambatane! Hi, Nugs. You want to say thank you? A, oh, and Chester, too. Say thank you. A big thank you to Christy Williams and Tracy Miller for giving me gift cards for the fur babies. So I just want to show a few things that I got. I got these bully sticks for Nugget. He loves his bully sticks. Usually I get him the ones that are like 12 inches, but they're so expensive now. I think they're like 50 bucks. So I got him a different one. That's, they're the six inch sizes. So we'll see how those go. And then I got two boxes of these 
Temptations, the puree, they're, they're, like, they're like the different version of the chudu I always get. They're a little bit smaller, but they're cheaper right now, so I decided to get two packs of those. And then this is a cat scratcher toy thingy that I put together, but I don't wanna do it here. I wanna wait till I move back to California so that I have something new for Chester to use. So this is, I'll put a picture up on the screen of what it will look like when I put it together. But I just wanted to say a quick thank you for that when I do the bonus babies. Right, Nugs? All right, have a great day.